So if you guys watched yesterday's video, you probably know that I'm struggling with a shoulder issue. So today, uh, I mean, I'm not, I'm someone who likes going intense and kind of an uh, endurance athlete to a certain degree. Um, so that being said, I'm not a huge fan of taking multiple days of rest or even easy days. So today, I'm, I started off my workout with uh, 30 minutes backwards on the manual treadmill, which is what I'm on now. And for the rest of the workout, what I'm going to do is do one minute backwards on this and 30 seconds forward. Uh, and so with this treadmill, it's manual, so it doesn't have, it doesn't move on its own. You have to actually push it. And so when you put it at a high enough resistance, it acts as like somewhat of a sled at low resistance. So, or with low weight. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, superset one minute backwards with 30 seconds forward on the treadmill and then after that move into uh, move into an exercise or a set of exercises that doesn't involve my uh, arms or doesn't involve my shoulders so for the first superset uh, we'll get to that in a second So for the first superset, moving into towel grip uh, kettlebell curls, which uh, creates an instability element and also makes the grip work harder. And then going to move into alternate uh, tricep extensions or alternate kettlebell skull crushers with, uh, so going to do 10 alternate, 10 together. All of that looks like this. So if you guys notice the grip that I'm holding the kettlebell with during the uh, skull crushers, uh, it's like a cannonball grip so I'm holding the weight. Uh, there's something about that grip that makes the contra mind muscle contraction with the triceps feel really good. So yeah, if you have kettlebells worth a shot, uh, I'm not going too heavy, I was just using I think it was 15 pounds uh, or maybe 10 pounds, not sure, but yeah. So immediately after this, I'm gonna go into, go back into supersetting with the treadmill. So I'll just show that part too.
So yeah, gonna do five sets of this and then on to the next thing. So the audio got cut out at the gym uh, while I was recording this portion. Um, so uh, here I am starting off the second circuit uh, similar to or pretty much what I had mentioned earlier that I'm going to start off each set with some backward walking and then forward on uh, forward push on the manual treadmill. Uh, since you can set the resistance on the treadmill, it acts as a sled with a little bit of weight on it. Um, and yeah, it's a great way to keep your heart rate up in the middle of sets. Um, so for the exercise, I'm doing uh, kettlebell leg elevated uh, stiff leg deadlifts. Um, so doing deadlifts in this way, I feel a really good stretch in the hamstrings and glutes. Uh, it's also a really good mobility exercise. Um, lost my balance here and if that kind of stuff happens to you, just uh, regain composure and go with it. Um, I like this exercise because it uses that concept of stretch strength which uh, translate into really good mobility as well since focusing on stretch strength exercises I've noticed uh, much more mobility and uh, yeah just overall uh, better legs um, did 8 to 10 reps each set with about uh, I think that's a 40 pound kettlebell uh, for whatever reason that kettlebell doesn't have its weight on it but it's definitely heavier than the 35 pound so I'm pretty sure it's a 40 pound <sighs> but yeah I did 10 reps of this on each side and um, really focusing on uh, feeling that hamstring and glute stretch and going down till the kettlebell hits the floor on each set. Moving into alternate iso hold uh, towel grip curls. By using a towel with a single kettlebell, the towel moves freely along the smooth handle of the kettlebell, which allows uh, this movement to happen. Um, one hand uh, is hold is like flexed halfway, and so there's an isometric element to it, and so you're holding that isometric with the bicep, and then the other hand curls, giving a really unique contraction. The audio comes back here. Just realized that the audio cut off for the previous set of exercises. In any case, I'm not going to record the backward walking and the forward uh, part of the manual treadmill anymore. It's, get, it's redundant and I'm doing, as mentioned earlier, I'm doing the same set, same thing in the beginning of every set. However, uh, for the third set of exercises that are being superset with that, I'm doing a towel grip curl with two hands into a goblet squat, but with my toes, I'm going to stay with like on my toes on the ground, uh, not the heels. And then I'm going to move into this groin stretch. So it's kind of like a side step on the elevated surface. Uh, all of that looks like this.
So yeah, I'm gonna do this for five sets like the previous ones. Probably gonna do one more circuit and then head into the sauna. Uh, today I'm gonna do an outro, but in the outro, instead of doing a physique check or whatever, I just wanna talk through like how I'm working on or what I've like brainstorming as with regard to like working out through this injury. Uh, but yeah, uh, details on how it happened, etc. So yeah, uh, all that coming up next. So for the final set of exercises before I head to the sauna, uh, sticking to the backward and forward treadmill. But uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go from an ATG split squat uh, with my leg elevated to a uh, leg elevated Cossack squat. Do that for five each side and then switch legs. The ATG split squat is good for quads and hamstring or quads and hip flexor mobility. And uh, the Cossack squat really stretches out the hamstrings and the adductors, which is in the groin area. All of that looks like this. And then going to do the treadmill after. But yeah, uh, as I mentioned, I'm going to do an outro. Where I'll kind of give a rundown on the workout. And also just, I guess, some info that might be interesting. So here's an outro. The kind of workout that I was doing today uh, is very similar to some of the stuff that I was doing uh, the first two months when I started the YouTube channel uh, before I started picking up a lot more kettlebell and steel mace exercises. In any case, uh, I think the way I worked out today where I'm combining like treadmill with the kettlebells is a good way of getting both weight training in and a good cardiovascular style movement in. Um, so overall that workout took three hours and I burnt about 1,040 calories. Um, so, you know, it was a pretty drawn out workout. Did 30 minutes straight backwards on the treadmill than the circuits that you all saw. Um, but yeah, uh, working out like this is pretty time efficient because there's very little rest periods. 
the first time I came across a similar style of working out uh, was like, so the first plan plan that I really followed was Greg Plitt's MFT28 from bodybuilding.com and that I think came out in like 2011, 2012 or something like that. And Greg Plitt was big on doing supersets and ever since then I've always been a fan of supersets. Then a few years after that, uh, Jim Stepani came out with something called Shortcut to Shred in which he would superset every movement that he did with like step ups or something that was relatively uh, less intense but kept your heart rate high during the duration of the workout. So um, uh, I never did the Jim Stepani program but uh, I guess like I'm big on like consuming th this kind of stuff and it I guess starts uh, turning the wheels in my brain to come up with different ideas and so uh, like and also people do CrossFit and stuff so it's like when you put all that kind of stuff together you say, uh, at least I'm able to come up with certain ideas so one of the things that I used to do was I would do one minute on the Stairmaster or two minutes on the Stairmaster superset with five pull-ups, 10 push-ups for 20 sets. Usually by the end of that, my heart rate is going super high and I've burned a ton of calories. So uh, come present day, I'm not a huge fan of the Stairmaster or any uh, cardio machines per se because with a lot of them, I think it almost forces you into uh, like keeping up with the machine uh, except for like the bike and stuff but I'm, I'm not really a huge fan of uh, cardio biking so with the manual treadmill I'm able to move at my own pace I don't necessarily have to keep up with the predetermined uh, pace of the treadmill which allows me to move more naturally so whatever I did today could definitely be replicated using a Stairmaster or a treadmill. You just have to pick your pace and do with it. I just prefer the manual treadmill. Um, in the past, I've also I've I've done the exact like thing with a Stairmaster or uh, with like the elliptical or something, where I'll do the elliptical for a bit and then superset them with some weight training exercises, which really gets the heart rate going. And instead of standing around and resting, you have to do cardio which uh, ends up like keeping your heart rate high which makes the whole workout so much more time efficient see like now I don't have to do another 30 minutes of cardio or whatever I've kept my heart rate fairly high during the whole workout burnt a ton of calories now I'm going to head to the sauna and yeah so as far as uh, the injury goes I think it's some sort of rotator cuff strain uh, or at least that's what I think it is. I could be wrong. But uh, I think what happened was uh, in episode 186, I think it was, uh, I did heavy landmine squats. And while doing heavy landmine squats, uh, it felt like on one of the reps, like my shoulder kind of became unstable. And it didn't hurt at the moment, but I just felt like a slight, uh, I don't know, awkwardness. And I felt pretty all right that day, but then the next day uh, when I was working out, I, it was a steel mace day where I did steel mace and kettlebell circuits. So it's either 186, 187 or 187, 188. I'm not exactly sure. But uh, I did a bunch of steel mace and kettlebell exercises. And I think I did so much, so many steel mace 360s that day. So I brought my seven uh, pound kettlebell to the gym and with every set I had done some form of steel mace 360. Then before that to warm up, I think I had done up to like a hundred steel mace 360s on each hand. Then when I went to the sauna, I took the steel mace with me there and did steel mace 360s in the sauna. And then while I was waiting for the bus, I kept doing steel mace 360s while I was waiting for the bus. And by the, like, and somewhere in the middle there, it did start hurting, but my, I guess, endurance 
kind of mindset kicked in and uh, was like, hey, don't be, you know, don't be soft. Keep going. And uh, I guess I bit off a little bit more than I could chew. Uh, but I took it relatively easy on the shoulders the following days and it seemed to be going fine. Then two days ago, I did a bunch of steel mace stuff again and it uh, seemed to act up again. So uh, uh, I decided on taking yesterday a little easy, which seems to have made it feel a little better. Today, not so easy, but not necessarily using the rotator cuff for much. So during the workout, there were, you know, like some parts here and there that would just kind of like make it a little sore, but not too much. And yeah. And also another reason for doing a cardio style workout is I think cardio accelerates healing because cardio increases blood flow overall, which ends up uh, accelerating healing in my opinion. I think low intensity steady state cardio helps uh, with healing, which is also why I'm going to spend quite a bit of time in the sauna today, uh, do some light stretching, do some pib raises and stuff like that. Uh, try to get as much blood flowing in my body to um, to help heal and help recover. And in the past, it has worked for me where doing um, the sauna has helped me recover faster. And yeah, I'm not necessarily too worried about it. Um, uh, yeah, I think injuries happen. I think there is a way to avoid them. I'm not necessarily, I'm not pro-injury or I'm not pro-pushing yourself to the point where you get injured. However, these things happen. And uh, instead of taking a lot of rest or, you know, getting freaked out about it, I think it's better to uh, keep working out as long as you're, you know, the injury is not too severe. And uh instead of becoming sedentary uh keep the blood flowing in the body uh, which then you know causes stuff like growth hormone release elevated testosterone etc 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 which will then help with overall body healing and just the body feeling nice but yeah uh that's that and I'm going to head into the sauna now. I'm going to try and stay there for 20 to 30 minutes. And yeah, that will be it for today's video. Hope you all got something out of this. See you all tomorrow.